pause the video. So, this is the end of the video. This is the end, but I'm putting this at the beginning because Max the Potato. <laughs> um, I realized that the back of the Rode microphone wasn't plugged in all the way. <laughs> Guess what? That means the entire footage that I got, the entire footage, um, has no sound. And I did a lot of talking to the DSLR and some vlogging at the end of the day, and I'm super happy. Not. So I'm gonna have to voice over, so bear with me. So AKA my, my super high set um, that was like super intense. It's not gonna be intense because it's gonna be my voice. Mm. Potato guys, <laughs> enjoy. What's up guys, let me close these. I know a lot of you get angry when there's cabinets, but uh, today's gonna be an exciting video. You guys should be excited. So, if you're watching this, what day is this on? This will be on a Tuesday. You need to sit down, you need to grab a drink, non alcoholic, and you know, just enjoy because this is gonna be great. You're gonna see me lift some heavy ass weight, or you're gonna see me fail miserably. I'm trying out this Achieve pre workout, which I'm sure you guys have seen on all of the YouTubes. The blue raspberry, and then we got some BCAAs, mixed berry, MTS. But um, yeah, it's gonna be a great video. Mel, what do you think? Yeah, you guys are gonna have a great time. Yeah, it's gonna be great. Give me a handshake. Mel, Mel can't even do any tricks. Mel, sit. Oh, there you go. Shake. Paw. Now, paw. Paw. All right, here we go. Good girl. So the other day I was over here and it was like too tight of a spot and I was like, oh, I'll back in right here. And I backed in and I hit this thing. This like poop tube or something, the sewer waste. Luckily I hit like the silver part so it didn't do any damage, but it's my luck. But uh, I think it's raining outside, which is never good. Ever, 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 never. First step is take some EF packages, two post offices, four closes. It's definitely raining. See, before with the hair, I would, rain would also be my enemy. I welcome it. To the front desk, people at like your gym ever say like, have a good workout, and you're like, you too. Mm, and then you're like, I'll go. So you're gonna play, like, have a great flight, like, you too. No, no. Here's the Mac setup. And the demo setup. All right, guys, welcome to the commentary. Sit back and relax and listen to my voice for the next five minutes or so. Today, we are going to talk about the reverse band deadlift. And as you see on the screen, setting it up by yourself uh, it can be a little tricky. I'd probably recommend you set the pins like you would a squat and then load the bar you know, a little higher up and then set it on the ground. But the whole point of the reverse band deadlift is to be another overloading technique to allow your CNS to be you know, used to holding that much weight, allows your grip strength to really develop. Um, so the bands are going to help you off of the floor. So you're going to allow, it will allow you to lift more weight directly off the floor as you be getting the bands assistance. And then once you get closer, I'd say maybe right above your knees, depending on where you have the bands, um, they, the bands are going to stop helping you and it's going to be mainly you. So it's the lockout is generally going to be mostly you. And as you notice, I actually lowered the bands and I realized that when I had them at first on the pins at the top of the rack, that they were helping too much. And sometimes, and honestly, you can put the bands at different positionings in the rack and they'll help, you know, if you maybe want a little more help throughout the entire lift and you want like the very, very last portion, the last like, you know, 5% of the lift to be uh, mainly you, but a lot of people I think will put the bands too high because they get their ego going and they're like, I wanna put crazy amounts of weight on the bar. But it, with the way that I had the bands before, I worried that if I would be able to put a whole lot of weight on the bar and it really wouldn't be as much me lifting the weight as it would be the bands helping me the entire way. So I kind of uh, took my ego down a notch and also took the pins down a notch to allow it to be more uh, me because you know it's not gonna benefit me to put more weight on the bar if it's helping me throughout the entire motion of the lift. The point is to help you 
um, right up to about your knees, maybe a hair above that, and then have it generally be the entire weight on the floor. So the goal today was obviously to work up to a maximum effort. I did not know what weight I was going to get up to. Now, keep in mind, obviously, I'm doing conventional. And the reason that I'm doing that is now Simon over at Mastetics, Simon and Garrett, they're very smart guys. And I talked to Simon, although he is not directly coaching me, I do ask him a whole lot of questions on this conjugate system as it's still very new to me. So I never want to don't ever think that I am a pro at this training. They know a lot more than I do, and I still go to them for advice. Um, and he asked me, he's like, you know, are you going to do these sumo or conventional? And I, uh, at first I was like, you know, I planned on doing them sumo, but I thought doing it conventional would actually benefit me even more because it's kind of going to affect two different weak points at one aspect. It's going to help my lockout and also training a specific lift in your non-competition stance. So if you normally pull sumo and you decide to pull conventional, that is going to benefit you and have carryover and vice versa. So I decided to kind of knock two birds with one stone and just go ahead and do this conventionally. And even though I'm doing it conventionally, even though it's not my technically strongest stance, I was very confident that I was planning on pulling over 600 pounds. And I actually filmed my top set on Periscope Live. So a couple of y'all saw it live with the, the battle cry in there. But, uh, you know, we started with 500 pounds, worked up to 545. And really, once I got into the 500s, I started realizing, you know, I... I don't want to say I was cocky going into like 400s, but you know it was it was going very very smooth. The bands were helping, you know, through the knees, and then the lockout up to 500 is you know cake for me. So once it got into the heavier weight like this, I started be you know it kind of turned on in my head. I was like, okay, I gotta focus, gotta get serious. And the jumps that I decided to do were a little bit higher than I would do off of the floor. So we went from like you know 495, pretty much added 50 pounds or did that 50 pounds to go four. 545 and then we just went another plate up took the quarter off and as you see it's getting a whole lot more difficult <laughs> um i definitely really really think that these bands will have great carryover to my deadlift they are a fantastic overloading technique and the biggest thing the biggest pointer that I would say that the I took away from this is that it is really going to overload your CNS. And the best thing ever is that it will train you to know what that weight feels like at the top of the lift. So this is 605 pounds. Now the heaviest pull that I've done off the floor has been 600. And yes, I have done block pulls where I've done up into like the 650 mark. And so I personally know what the, the heavier weight feels like, but it's always a great kind of reminder that, you know, A, you can hold the weight and B, it kind of allows your CNS to be like, hey, this is what this much weight is going to feel like when you get to the top of this lift. So it doesn't kind of shock you. So if you guys have never done this, then I would highly recommend it. As you see here, 625 pounds, grinded it out, extremely happy with that. And I knew that that was the maximum effort that I was going to have for the day. As always on the maximum effort conjugate program, once you do your main lift, you work up to a heavy single, you drop down to 80 percent for either three sets of five or five sets of three depending on how tired you are and how fatigued and if you need to auto regulate so we dropped down to 500 pounds for sets of five and this still was extremely difficult do not think that going from 625 to 500 even with the band's assistance was a easy task in itself um, definitely whooped my butt this whole workout was just <laughs> kicked my ass Normally, I, I really do not like doing stiff leg deadlifts. I've complained about these a whole lot, but I really think that t that um, strengthening up my glutes, strengthening up my hamstrings will have great carryover to my squat and my deadlift. And just because I do not like doing an exercise does not mean I should not do an exercise. So we finished out with just some hamstring curls like I always do. Again, working the hamstrings and we moved into a little bit of accessory movements. This whole gym session took an extremely long time, but I kind of knew that going into it. Um, just finished with some lat pull downs, about four sets of eight with a little bit heavier of weight. And then we did some biceps to wrap it up. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about uh, maybe some alternate deadlift movements, so some weak point training, and you want me to answer them, I'll try to get down to the comments and uh, get back to you as many as you as I can. But I'd highly recommend you getting these bands. I love incorporating these into my training. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video. It's got some cool music feeling super artsy. Let me know how you like it. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next video. This is definitely a cool place to like come and you know, appreciate history, appreciate everything that's happened, and just kind of maybe spend some time by yourself and obviously a whole bunch of other people, but it's very relaxing, it's very cool. So, I'm feeling some time lapse and some music right about now.
So at about almost five o'clock, we have uh, tandoori chickens. This is chicken, a very a light dressing, so no fat, spinach, peppers, onions in there, multigrain bread, a side of multigrain bread. I did get a note from uh, Carly de de coco de, um, de, de caco de coco um sent me a really nice letter that she's going through a lot of stuff uh, with her family so i really do appreciate this and i hope everything gets well uh, in your family and everything they're going through so uh, i'm gonna watch a youtube video eat this drink some water extremely tired from, it's been a long day <laughs> um i might even mm, yeah i'm gonna have some Cheddar sour cream protein chips to go along with this, so. So tired. <laughs>